Hi, Pop Pop. He's doing better, everyone. His swelling has gone down in his eye. He's still missing everybody, though. Okay. Well, I'm going to do this again. You know, I videotaped myself for a whole half hour and none of it came through, so now i got to start all over. So, okay. Question of the day today is, how can you help the earth? Can you, or leaving the lights on, or recycling? Hmm, what can you do to help the earth? Leaving the lights on all the time, or recycling? I hope you said recycling. Ding, ding, ding. Leaving the lights on, that's just wasting energy and money. We're not gonna do that. Okay, let's warm up our brains. We have these recycling symbols. And each symbol is a letter. We have the letter P, 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 L, O, G, G. Sometimes it makes the J sound, but today we're gonna do the G sound. And then we have A, A. Okay, so P. Which one of these pictures starts with a P? We have a light bulb. Apple, plant, glue. P -p plant. Ding ding. We're going to be learning about plants next week. It's one of my favorite units. All about plants. Okay, next go letter L. -o. Light bulb, apple, glue. Glue has an L, but it's the G at the beginning, so we can't say that because we're just doing beginning sounds. So we have a light bulb. Light bulb. Next we have the letter G. G, -g. Is it apple or glue? It is. It's glue. And the last one, ah, apple. A for apple. Easy peasy lemon sweet thing. Well, guess what? Today is the day. Today is Earth Day. Let's learn a little bit about Earth Day before moving into calendar time. Okay, all about Earth Day. Earth Day is celebrated on April 22nd every year. Today, it's a win this, yeah, it's a Wednesday this year. It is a day Help the earth. Everyone in the world chooses one thing to do to help the earth. There are many ways that you can help the earth all year. One way, you can recycle. And we've talked about that. You can recycle. You can pick up litter, which is garbage, and put it in the trash can. You can plant a new tree. You can plant a garden. That's what I've been working on. Grow new plants. You can pull weeds. This is a good project for you to help your family. Go outside, make sure you know what a weed is and your parents can show you and you can pull them. The reason why we have to pull weeds is because they'll overtake and suffocate the new plants that you plant. And they will take all of the sunlight and nourishment away from the flowers or the vegetables that you planted. So that's why it's important to pull weeds. You can be kind to plants and animals. Don't break the branches off the trees. We want animals to have a habitat. All of this garbage can be recycled into some new things. Plastics, metal, paper. We talked about that yesterday. Old food can go into composting bins. And that is really good for fertilizer and nutrients for new plants. It is our job to care for the earth. to help the earth what can you do there's some really good examples in here 
There's also some good examples in our Planet Hero song. So let's sing our Planet Hero song. Planet Hero, Planet Hero, that's my name, that's my name. I can bring reusable bags, I can bring reusable bags, and you can do the same, you can do the same. What's another way we can help the planet? Use less water. Planet Hero, Planet Hero, that's my name, that's my name. I can use less water, I can use less water. You can do the same, you can do the same. So using less water when you brush your teeth, don't leave it running, turn it off in between brushing and spitting. Put, uh, let's see here, I can ride my bike. Planet Hero, Planet Hero, that's my name, that's my name. I can ride my bike, I can ride my bike. You can do the same. You can do the same. Here's one, turning off the water. Don't leave it running and forget about it. That happens here at Tiny Acres. Someone washes their hands or they go to fill up their water bottle, but then they forget to turn the water off. So you gotta remember, oh, did I turn the water off? I better double check. Planet Hero, Planet Hero, that's my name, that's my name. I can turn off the water, I can turn off the water. You can do the same, you can do the same. Turning off the lights. Planet Hero, Planet Hero, that's my name, that's my name. I can turn off the lights, I can turn off the lights. You can do the same, you can do the same. You can turn the lights off if you're not in your bedroom. Don't leave the light on. Save some energy, save some money. Last one is the big one. Recycle. Planet Hero, Planet Hero, that's my name, that's my name. I can recycle, I can recycle. And you can do the same. You can do the same. There's lots of ways that we can be a Planet Hero. There's lots of ways that we can help take care of the Earth. So just choose one to do today, or you can challenge yourself and do more than one. Okay, moving on to calendar time. Can you please stand for the flag for I need to move this down. I need to do this. Because I already did calendar, now I gotta do it again. Okay, here we go. We're gonna make it rain and we're gonna can't, oh, flag salute. Put your right hand in the air, in the air. Put your right hand in the air, in the air. Put your right hand on your ear. Put your right hand on your spine. Put your right hand on your heart, on your heart. Thump, thump. Salute. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, soldiers. Hey, we're gonna count all the way to Happy Wednesday. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22. What two numbers make 22? 22, a two and a two, okay? What comes after green umbrella? It's pretty easy because you know what goes in between the umbrellas. It's something that's in the sky today. Cloudy. Claudius. Hey, today is Wacky Wednesday, April 22, 2020. Two, zero, two, zero. Okay, we need to do a tally mark. Right here. We're gonna count by fives. And when you get to the 115, you're going to here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty
story today. Why should I save energy? Why should I save energy? Let's find out why. Do you remember the parts of the book? It's been a little bit. We have the spine, front cover, back cover. Why should I save energy? That is the title. And then the person that wrote the story, Jen Green, she is the, excuse me, author. And then the person that drew the pictures is Mike Gordon. So he is the illustrator, Groovy. Okay. In my family, we're careful about how we use energy. We never used to be careful. We wasted lots of energy. We use the car all the time. Look, it's a convertible and it's snowing. How silly. We always left the lights on. We turned the heat on full blast. We took hot baths with the water filled clear to the top. Sounds fun. One evening, my friend Robert was playing at our house. Suddenly, there was a power outage. <gasps> oh no, it's dark. The power went out. I thought electricity was always right there whenever we needed it. And you just had to whoop, switch it on. Nope. 
Robert said that we must save energy. Why should I save energy? Robert knew about energy because he had learned about it at school. Energy is precious. Electricity is energy made by burning fuel. That's coal, oil, and gas, said Robert. Burning fuel warms up water, which makes steam, which turns the turbine, which generates electricity. Cars, trains, and buses also run on fuel. You have to take those to the gas station and fill them up. Our teacher says the world's fuel supplies won't last forever. If we're not careful, they will run out, said Robert. Then he asked, what do you think would happen if our homes ran out of energy? There would be no power for cooking or heating. We'd get cold and all of our food would be cold too. Ew. And what do you think would happen if energy ran out at school? No computers today, kids. Do you see that they're all bundled up because there's no heat? So they're all wearing their coats and hats and mittens. Sandwiches again! Oh no! And what do you think would happen if the whole town ran out of energy? Buses and trains wouldn't run, so people couldn't get around, and nothing would reach the stores. So how can we save energy? I know. Let's just stay in bed. Can you stay in bed all day long? That would be so boring. There are many ways to save energy, said Robert. Turn off lights when you don't need them. Close windows and doors when the heat is on. And try putting a sweater on if you feel cold rather than the heat. So bundle up. Going to school by bus or train uses less fuel than by going by car. You could ride your bike or walk, said Robert. You should share a ride. That's called carpooling. Robert was right. Saving energy is easy, and you might find yourself doing new things. Saving energy saves money, too, so you can have extra treats now and then. So, saving energy, energy is important. We have to utilize what we have, right? So, turn the lights off when you're not using them. Ride your bike, walk, carpool, take the bus, take a train if we had a train around here, but we don't. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to upload the Earth book, the Earth Day book, okay? And then if you have a printer, you can print it out. If not, you can just read it on the computer. But yeah, if you print it out, then you can color your own illustrations and then practice reading it. So. Go be a planet hero today. Choose one thing to do. Hopefully this rain will stop and we can get outside a little bit. If not, we can do it tomorrow too, since the weather will be nicer tomorrow. Okay, you all have a fantabulous Earth Day and we will talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna to be talking about conserving water. Why should we conserve water? Okay.